Hey everybody, today we're searching for the uh, Drumheller Columns uh, outside of uh, Othello, uh, Washington. Um, we're not sure exactly where they are or if it's uh, just a series of uh, basalt columns that uh, you just kind of walk through. And um, But I think there's like one main uh, big uh, like uh, rove of columns, so that's what we're looking for. a uh, nice little spot of uh, Curry's balsam root. Some um, quite happy in this location here. Very different right in there. It's like a band where it's a, uh, I don't know, almost like it's a different lava flow. So we're still looking for the, uh, like the major basalt columns. Soon we come to a drop off here. Pretty good drop off, not too bad though. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Great. So we must have gotten off the uh, uh, the area we were searching. So we're following trails out here, but for all I know they're game trails. Sometimes they've got boot marks on them, but this one looks more like a game trail. So we are going to make our way down into the bottom there and then uh, work our way, I think, back to the car, which is over, I think, over there. Um, those might be the columns. I'm not sure. The actual drum heller columns. But I don't know. Some more fiddle necks. They uh, are going to seed. Uh, interesting seed pods. Okay, change of plan. That was uh, a little too a uh, little too steep and uh, extremely rocky. So um, I'm going to go back up to the top here and uh, work my way over there, and then try to find my way down. Yeah, I watched this uh, video from uh, Nick Zentner. He's a geology instructor at uh, Central Washington University. And uh, he came here and uh, said from the Marsh number three parking lot, it's like a oh, 10 minute walk. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, so far we've hiked for about 40 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes and still haven't uh, really found the spot. So, Tried to find it on, uh, oh, those are nice. Spreading flocks. Yeah, I tried to find it on Google Earth, but really didn't recognize anything, so. Okay, so I made it to the bottom of the valley. We're on following a road now. And uh, there's where I came down, All right? Uh, I think it was over there. There or there. Yeah, it took some doing to get down into that uh, into this valley from up there. So, uh, 
<laughs> but I made it. Uh, give you a look at what we're uh, walking through right now. This place is quite uh, quite beautiful. Really like these grasses. I like these uh, little uh, plumes on them. Yeah, try to capture those right there. Okay, so we are on the road that uh, we came in on to get to the parking lot. And uh, I think that the uh, those columns we're looking for, Drumhill, are right over the top of that. There's a trail apparently. So um, I guess it sounds like you maybe stop at the parking lot, then hike back up the road to get to the trail. Not sure, but anyway, we're gonna check it out. We have found the uh, the columns. Um, anyway, I'm pretty excited, so let's keep going. Okay, here they start, and there is a long line of these things. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get as close to the uh, as close to the bottom of these things as I can, uh, just to try to capture the uh, how tall these things are. Yeah, these things just keep on going. <laughs> That's one that broke off. Wow. It's kind of leaning. That one's gonna fall at some point. Jeez. I can hear a cricket in there. Now we're gonna try to get on top of these things. I think it's probably down there to the right. And in the end, they just sort of kind of start, uh, you know, bending over on each other before they straighten out. Some more here. They started up from that section we were looking at where they bent over. And uh, more, uh, more balsam root. And that raven has been croaking back there the entire time we've been in this basin. It's very loud. I wonder what the deal is. I wonder why it's making so much noise. Maybe it's got a nest. Yeah, so this place was a... Uh, it was kind of tricky to find, but um, we did walk around a lot this morning in uh, other areas um, down through that uh, that valley. But um, this is uh, this is really spectacular. Once you figure out where it is, it's uh, definitely well worth the uh, well worth the effort. Okay, we just heard a uh, heard a rattlesnake, and uh, so I guess uh, we have to start. Uh, the day's getting warmer, so I guess we have to start uh, watching out for those things. Well, we had to change our route, but uh, it brought us closer to these uh, columns right here. Another view of these things. And uh, this is what we're uh, climbing over and through, um, which almost looks worse than where we saw the snake, or heard the snake. This is what we're on now. 
Um, it's making some pretty big noises every so often. Oh man. Okay, I'm probably gonna put the, put the camera away for a minute. We're almost there. So here we are on top of those columns. See down there. They are very, uh, they look like giant stepping stones. <laughs> wow. So, here we are. Just another look at these things. <laughs> ah, pretty amazing. We're gonna have to find another way down though, because I don't think we wanna come down through that area we climbed up here, uh, especially with that snake down there. And we're still on top of these uh, columns, but uh, I found this parsley. I don't think it's candies. The leaves too, uh, well, I don't know. They're kind of gray green. So this is what it looks like from up top. And I think there's columns on the other side as well. Although if you go down that side, uh, I don't know. There's that, that's where you drop back into that valley where we were. So if you look, however, at where we're at, um, you, I mean, you of course see more calm tops here, obviously, but they're, uh, they extend back. Maybe, I mean, maybe they go all the way to the other edge over there, but you can see them here. They're just got, they're just filled with dirt. And these are, uh, these are filled with mud. <laughs> it's like playing hopscotch. <laughs> yeah, so I will say this though. I'm seeing this uh, parsley up, up here, the wild parsley. Um, we saw some larkspur down below, and of course, uh, uh, early balsam, or uh, Carrie's balsam root when we were at the base of these things, but these pillars. But um, I. Uh, I haven't really seen too much in the way of wildflowers up here. Got these little daisies right here. They're uh, blue and white. And bluish white leaves. Big yellow centers. Try to get as close as I can here. Not getting blurry. Okay, so we've reached the end. And... And um, hold the camera out over those. It's hard to, the light is making them shine. Kind of this weird white color, but I'm just trying to keep my shadow out of it and keep my shadow behind me in this case. not gonna I don't know I don't have much to say I mean these things just kind of speak for themselves and uh, I don't know and the raven back there is has plenty to say so I'll just let let her do the talking and I'll just keep filming away and there you go that is the Drumheller Columns. Wow. Yeah, so my son, he came down through there. I was too chicken. So I got a big stick and uh, went down through the trail where we saw the uh, snake and uh, sat in uh, 
whacked the rocks in front of me with it as I went down making as much noise as I could. Okay guys, well I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a pretty good time. I really enjoyed getting up on top of those uh, basalt columns. If you like this video, uh, be sure to give it a like. Um, otherwise, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.